Today, guys, we have got a brand new machine here from AM next to me, and this is a 1.7 single phase oil heater roll to roll heat press for sublimation. Now, I've got some emergency jobs to put through this machine, just like that one over there. It's a fabric banner that's seven meters by three meters. So, while we're waiting for this thing to heat up, we're just going to have a general chat about this machine. So, in order to get this machine installed and rolling the way it is currently now, we needed to do some things first, and that is the power. Now, I've gone on the recommendations from AM regarding the power that's needed for this machine. And what we needed to do was do a 10 millimeter cable running to a 41 amp minimum size breaker on your board. And that's going to allow this machine to run smoothly. So that's what we did first before we even started installing and putting together this machine. The power is very important when it comes to this machine. You have to make sure that you attach it directly to the machine. From the machine, it needs to go to an isolator switch and then onto the board. And the reason for that is so that because we are not running through our earth leakage on the board, because of its high amps, you're going to have the machine trip at the isolator before the board so that there's no fires happening within this warehouse. So from here, we have got a toolbox that came with our machine and this came with a whole bunch of tools and accessories and this allowed us to install the machine and continue from there. So we have got a spare relay, some spare bolts and then underneath that we have got tools that were provided with the machine to install and put it together. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about our control panel. So let's start right at the top here. We have got our power indication telling us that there's power to the machine. From there, you've got our three switches, our on and off, our heating and rolling. Now, when you're basically finished with the machine, you're going to go and switch off the heat and leave these two on while our temperature, which is over here, decreases. And as it suggests over here within the text, you must always make sure that you roll back your blanket once it is reached below 80 degrees temperature. Anything higher than that and you might cause a fire or any damage to your actual mat. So this is your temperature controller here. This is your current temperature and your set temperature. Now all you need to do is go ahead and push set and then adjust it up and down until you're happy. And then push set again. And that's that for our temperature. Then we move down to our inverter roller speed adjustment. Now this is quite simple. All you need to do is go ahead and push forward or reverse depending on the direction you want to go. Stop if you want to stop it and then you just adjust it with the dial. What we also have here on the side of the machine is our roller and this is a take up roller purely for our wasted paper once we've pressed. So it's going to come out of the press over here, you attach it to this roller and all you need to do is go ahead and switch it on and adjust the speed and then the next thing is your actual tension on the roll so that it's got the strength and the torque to pull the paper with tension without causing any creases. So here in front we've got our basic setup. We can have two rolls that we hold our printed paper which will go up and into the machine and then right at the bottom on either side of the machine we have our tensioner bar for the green mat so that we keep it in the middle so it doesn't move from left to right. Then I've got one more thing to show you which I really like on the side over here. So we're here on the side and all we need to do is push in this button, turn your handle and you can open. Which I absolutely love because you might just walk into the side of that thing and break it off if it isn't flat, which is nice. Then over here we've got right at the bottom, this is our tensioning arm for our take up roller on our material that comes out of the press. From there, you're gonna go up here, and this is our tensioning bar for the mat. So you've got one on either side, which will then move it back and forth, which will help the tension of the mat to be straight. And then we're gonna go straight up here, and this is where we get some maintenance that we have to do. Now, as you can see, there's grease already around the bearings, both here and here. Now, this is an inspection hole so that you can move the mat forward and re-grease this bearing and as well as this one. And it's nice that it's right here in your face and easy to get to for maintenance. So let me go ahead and close this door here 
Now, what a lovely thing is, if you have an issue and you need to stop this machine right now and there's a problem, on either side of the machine there's an emergency stop that you hit and the machine will be dead in the water in case you have a fire or any electrical issue. While we're here, let's quickly talk about this roller. Now this is the one that allows you to bring the mat forward and back from your beginning and end once you finish with your press. So with that being said, I've got some really urgent jobs to do. So let's get straight to pressing and show you how it works. So guys, here's the artwork that was sent to me by the customer. All I need to do is go ahead and cut this thing in half with the artwork and then add bleed on either side because we're doing one piece at a time and stitching it together to make it three meters tall by seven meters long. So for the printing aspect, we're gonna be using our sublimation printer and this is just on our normal sublimation 120 GSM paper. From there, once it's printed, I've chosen to use a 200 GSM mini mat, which is a really nice material. Once it's up and it's being hung, no lights that shine on it will reflect light, so it absorbs the light, so no matter what angle you're looking at the banner, you can see the full picture. So that's the material that we've decided to do. And once we've got all that ready, we can start pressing. All right, guys, before we start pressing, I just need to talk about this here in general. Now, because I had a rush job to get through this press, normally I would have waited. I used MDF here. I used Corex first, but that melted here in the front because of how hot it is. And that just shows you why it's so essential to use glass only and nothing else, because even this here is getting so hot that it's starting to brown from the heat on the side. So again, I just use this as a rush job please use glass only. Because this is a new machine, we're gonna to need to play with our settings a bit. I've chosen 230 degrees temperature and we're going to run it at half the speed on the machine at first, but we're gonna throw a test in first and see whether or not those settings are gonna work. If not, we'll just adjust the speed accordingly and I'm going to leave the temperature because our ink was profiled at 230 degrees and nothing higher or lower. Well guys, there you have it. We've just finished doing our emergency jobs with this brand new machine here. And thank goodness it came just in time. I was getting a little bit stressed, but I was very happy with the outcome of this machine and the way that it pressed the material. So that being said, go ahead, click the bell icon, subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can see when the next videos come out because we're gonna be doing a series of videos just on this heat press and how to use it so that you can get to grips on this machine. So thank you again for watching and keep your eyes peeled for the next one. AI may eventually take over, but what's for certain is that smart machines are already operating all over the world right now. So stay ahead with am.co.za. For 11 years, they've been the leader in CNC and printing machines like CNC routers, large format printers, vinyl cutters, laser cutters, plasma cutters, DTF printers, and many more.
visit am.co.za showrooms in Sunny Rock, Joburg and Montague Gardens, Cape Town or WhatsApp high to 060-600-6000 for more. am.co.za Achievement Matters. Mm-hmm.